We're shooting today in the beautiful Khalsa Women's Training Camp. And, uh, you know, it's gorgeous early summer. Light breeze is blowing. And uh, it's snowing cottonwood seeds. We have the beautiful sacred snow of the cottonwoods here in Española. So I hope you'll come sometime to Española, New Mexico, and visit us in this beautiful place, in this blessed valley. You know, we have a large Sangat here. There's over 300 people. And there are many, many children in the Sangat and more being born each day. So, it, you know, it's like our, our little Gorda Pind. You know, everybody takes care of each other. We have our Gurdwara that we built here. We have our Langar that we serve here. This whole community was built on Seva. And the blessing of it is so deep. And it's sustained by the Akan pot that we do every week. Every week a Akan pot is held. Some people read in Gurmukhi, some people read in English. We take a little extra time. We start on Wednesday and the bhog is on Saturday morning. That energy has been going on for decades here. And it's what sustains this community. Someone wrote in and asked, what if I don't have a community? What if I'm living by myself somewhere? And I still want to have that bliss and that joy of the Guru's presence. And I want to deepen my Sikhi. But I don't have over 300 people to be with who are my satsangit, who recognize me for who I am, who uplift me and support me, who I can serve side by side with. You know, everybody starts their journey alone. We get born and we are merged into everything and then we become ourselves separate from everyone. In the process of life, we come back to merge again. We go from individual consciousness into a group consciousness. And from that group consciousness, we can easily reach universal consciousness. But everyone has to make that journey. So if you don't have your satsangit, you can begin your own daily practice. Your sangat is the guru. Because remember, the guru is the sangat and the sangat is the guru. So you can have a relationship with the guru and the guru is your sangat. How do you establish that relationship? First, you begin your own sadhana. If you can just do japji, do japji. If you can do more banis, do more banis. Start to meditate. Learn how to jap. Learn how to do simran. Even if you don't have a teacher, you can learn it. You can practice it. There are resources available on the web. Just begin. Don't worry whether you're doing it right, not doing it right. Just do it. Have the experience of it. Make an altar or a sacred space in your own home where you can bow your head. If you are blessed to have the Guru in your house, then you can install the Guru and do Guru's Seva in your house. Even if it's just you. You know, you can do Guru's Seva, you can do Prakash, you can do Sukhasan, you can receive a Hukum Nama from the Guru. If you can't read Gurmukhi, you can get a translation and use that. But you just have to begin. You know, Guru says, if you take one step towards me, everyone knows this quote, right? Then I take 10,000 steps towards you. But you have to take that one step. So don't think about what you don't have. I don't have Sangat, I'm all alone. You know, think about what you do have. You have the Sangat of the Guru. Be in that Sangat. Start one-on-one. -on -one. And when you matatek, just pray 
to the Guru and say, please bring my satsanga to me and let things unfold. Let the Guru deliver you to your satsanga. Let your satsanga be delivered to you. Sometimes it takes time and you have to go through that individual relationship first. But I promise you one thing, the time you invest in establishing that relationship within yourself will be the foundation of being in your satsanga. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. The question is, who do you want to be with? Do you want to be with people who love the Guru? Do you want to be with people who love themselves? Do you want to be with people who honor their own divinity and honor your divinity?